Hey there friends, thanks for checking in another review in my budget series and today we're looking at the Taurus G3 Toro. Toro stands for Taurus Optic Ready Option and as you can see I have a Vortex Viper. Now the G3 is selling in like, like 340 MSRP. The Toro model is a bit more expensive MSRP in the mid 400s. So either pretend this is a G3 without the optic or it may not make my budget series, which I'm trying to keep under $400, but it's a nice handgun. I'm very much fond of it. It shoots so well. It comes with a 15 and 17 round mag. Here is the 17 round mag, a four inch barrel, a full rail there, serrated black rear sights that I will not be using and a front dot. Very nice ergonomic feel. It does have a thumb safety right there and the trigger is measuring just under five pounds with a very short reset. Taurus calls this a full-size pistol. Many manufacturers will call it a compact size. It really doesn't matter, and honestly, there are no industry standards in terms of how manufacturers size their pistols, so they can do whatever they want. It also has forward serrations, and I really, I, I, I think it's great. Now, this Toro model was released in 2021, the G3, a couple years prior to that, and, well, this is a G3, but the Optic Ready is a big hit, and people love it. And I've got this sucker right where I want it. I was, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I was shooting a little quicker than I should have been. But another thing I like about the pistol is that it breaks down so easy. We always say that, you know, it's like a Glock. Well, I guess now that so many manufacturers do that, that it, it shouldn't be compared to a Glock always, but it does have a, a dual recoil spring and the four inch barrel. Uh oh, what happened? Light primer strike. 124 grain ball ammo is what I'm using here. All right. One of the things I really like with the third generation torses, whether it's the G3C or the G3 models, is that wider trigger guard. That it feels so great on the finger, and then of course the reset is right there. It also has restrike capability, as we have come to know and expect from many Taurus models. But I do like the handgun, and I think the Vortex Viper is great. Now they offer four separate plates with the Toro model, and you can choose what red dot. It says right on their site, you know, if you have this red dot, use this plate. And they're numbered, makes it nice and easy. This was the number one. Vortex Viper fits on there really well. When the thumb safety is engaged, it will lock the slide and the trigger. So I will sweep that down. And right here, take a few shots with the toy. How about a limp wrist test? And a little jam there. Failure to chamber. Stuff happens all the time. Let's see. Trying to catch that round so it doesn't go into the snow where I may lose it. Let's try again. <laughs> and there we go. Did it pass? I kind of think it did. Love that red dot. The Vortex Viper is a great red dot. Now, you, you, lo you lose the rear sight with it, right? You can't, you know, co-witness or anything like that. 
but the the dot is nice and nice and crisp and it sighted in really well so there it is the Taurus G3 Toro Taurus optic ready option very happy with the G3 models and when they came out with the Toro models I'm certainly happy to get this one in my hands and feature it with my budget series if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe